Okay, so one of the first things you see when you walk into the nursery is this elephant handprint. Um, I found this on Pinterest, and this we actually made this when we were pregnant with our miscarriage baby this past summer. That's Casey's mine and Caleb's hand, and there's enough room at the end right here to fit a baby handprint. So this is the very first thing you see when you come into the nursery. And then here it is. Okay, we're gonna go by step by step, but here I'm just gonna do a little overview of the room first. Here's his changing table and the rocker, a desk, a reading corner, the crib, <clears throat> and all the pocket notes. <clears throat> so also, uh, before I get started, I have had really bad acid reflux and bad swallowing problems, so if I have to clear my throat, I'm sorry. So I want to apologize up front. So anyways, okay, the first thing we're going to start with is, sorry if I'm moving around too much, the dresser area slash changing table slash pegboard. I found this on Pinterest last summer and fell in love with it. I, I know I've made a blog about it before, but I am in love with everything on this pegboard. And I still have a few things I want to put up there. My mom found a um, yellow and gray D that I want to hang up here. Um, and then this dresser, we actually found at Goodwill for $30. Uh, we sanded it down, primed it, painted it, and, and finished it out and sealed it and everything. Um, we still need to, it, it isn't on track. And so if you kind of open it, it's kind of difficult to open. But yeah, look at all this clothes. Like, all of these are full see this one's off track with baby clothes this is all from my sister-in-law a monitor for my mom an infant carrier Casey's still got to fix the tracks on here but um one of my girlfriends made this stinking adorable little outfit for his newborn photos um, but just socks and everything up in here. The changing cover I found, or the changing pad I found on Etsy, or not Etsy, I'm sorry, um, Facebook on a resale page. And then I made all these little pads. I have probably about three or four of them there in here. Right here. This is a frame I bought from Hobby Lobby. It was, I bought it actually whenever I was pregnant last summer. And then this sign was off of Etsy. I have his diapers and some lotions and everything. Hobby Lobby, the button. My mother-in-law gave me this. This, um, actually, if you can tell, I need to touch it up. But right there, this was pink and it was broken. So I got this at Hobby Lobby for like two bucks. I painted it yellow and hot glued it together. This is one of my favorite pieces on the pegboard. It is a light. We got that from Target. This was, um, we made this at a craft night Pinterest party that one of my friends Jenny put together. And then I got these little monogram things. I've tried to take off the square, but it comes off all together, so I left it on there. Um, that one of my friends sent me. And then Casey and I obviously um, hung the pegboard and painted the boarding and all that stuff. Um, this will probably end up going into his closet. It's going to be his dirty clothes hamper. And I'm going to get a utility shelf kind of that you use at the hairdressing salon a turquoise one from Ikea and put that there for extra diapers and creams and everything his trash can and then this chair let me tell you about this chair so I had another chair in here it was like they told me it was yellow I bought it I thought it was yellow everybody else in my family Casey everybody said it was orange so it started bugging me so I ended up selling that chair and we found this one on a Facebook resale page for 20 bucks. It is a little dirty, if you can tell. But this is $20. We have not cleaned it, we have not anything. So once we get it all cleaned, it's gonna look amazing. And it rocks, it's a glider, it's awesome. This blanket is from my mother-in-law, um, Gray Chevron, and then a Gray Arrow pillow from Amazon. I'm addicted. The curtains, I had a huge curtain fell. Um, if any of you follow my blog, you saw that I was going to dye curtains that were ruffled from Target. Did not turn out the color I wanted. I did not like them. I hated them. Ended up redying them, messed them up, so I threw them away. And I went with these sheer curtains. I'll probably end up getting 
um, maybe some dark gray like blackout curtains to put behind it and just have the um, sheer ones over it but for now that's all he has right now and I'm leaving him like that I'm just I'm annoyed with the curtains the next up is this desk one of Casey's best friends from childhood his name is Kel and his wife moved to Austin and they um, were cleaning out the garage and found this and asked me if I wanted it. And of course I took it. It's a beautiful piece. So um, we are kind of using it just as like a storage, just kind of until he gets a little bit older, then obviously it'll be his desk for his room. But um, it has these two elephants I found at Goodwill. Uh, and they were blue and pink and I painted them. Um, this lamp I got at Walmart and I recovered it with some fabric from Hobby Lobby. That is the fabric I received for his quilt that I'm making him. Um, a little picture frame I'm going to use. Something we use or we received at um, our wedding. It was our wedding shower. Was Our theme was your first. And so this was for our first baby. So we're going to put our pictures in that obviously. This is some stuff for my, my Blum box that I'm signed up for monthly. I got a pregnancy book, some, a white carrier, a little rattle. And then just some miscellaneous. Here's the monitor. It's out of the box already. My belly books. Just some extra polka dots in case those fall off. Just some random little things. Let me tell you, this thing is called a Mighty Tight. Amazing. Seriously. This is a awesome. It's dirty. This was Caleb's. This is my niece's nephew, or my niece's, Madeline Audrins, I think. Um, we've had it forever. It heightens the seatbelt tighter than you will ever imagine. I love it. I swear by it. People have told me, well, it'll hurt the seatbelt, whatever. It's been through so many kids. I love it, and I swear by it. So anyways. The next up is, well, the follow your arrow. That was an old picture frame that I ended up taking the picture out, painting the frame, and then I had somebody and monograms on Instagram. She ended up um, cutting this out for me and sending me the follow your arrow and I put that on there. Then this is our reading corner. This is Caleb's favorite spot. We use the rain gutters and his elephant chair. There's some books in the corner that I need to put up and that my mom just brought. And I've actually blogged on how I did this if you want to know any more details. Here's just some little shelves. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with them yet. That mask is one of, Casey collects masks every time we go out of the country or on vacation or anything. So this one has some turquoise in it. So I decided to put it in the room for Casey. The crib. This was, um, I bought this for my friend Kim and it was a brown color. I ended up doing, um, sanding it down, priming it, painting it and everything. The bedding, the yellow sheet and the gray, everything was from Walmart for 50 bucks. I got it all. And um, this bumper was, I want to say yellow with elephant print. I forgot. Anyways, I recovered it so it matched the turquoise more. And then this is the blanket I got off Etsy for like 20 bucks. Awesome, awesome. And then this was, if you can see, this is the blanket that came with it. Obviously, we aren't going to hang it up or anything. I'll just leave it in the back of his crib. Here is my beautiful reflection. Um, I ended up putting his sonogram, his 3D sonogram photos in there. You can't really tell all that well, but look how cute he is. Oh, um, I know what I'm looking at. So uh, That banner, the triangle banner, is from Hobby Lobby. I was going to make my own, but I decided to be lazy and just buy it from Hobby Lobby because why not? Um, this is from Etsy. My mom liked to point out that the D is backwards. Yes, everybody, I know the D is backwards. That is the way it had to be cut. I researched it. I looked around before I bought it and made sure that I could not find one with the D the other way. I wanted a circle. I wanted this font. And this is the only way that I could cut the D. So it says Dax and the D is backwards. And we're just going to deal with it. I think it looks really cool. I think it kind of brings like a superhero boy feel to the room. And I really love it. Um, this shelf is from, uh, Amazon. This is actually the second shelf I bought. The first one was a leaning ladder shelf. I hated it. It was not very well put together. It was, so I ended up giving it to somebody. Um, this one is really cool because it's a light. Like I'm in love with it. 
Not really sure what we're going to put on the um, shelves yet, but I'm in love with the whole idea of the shelf. And then the radio for his lullabies. And of course the polka dot wall that I had blogged about. We are going to end up putting um, canvas photos of our maternity photo shoot, which is going to be awesome. Let me just tell you that. And um, then after he's born, newborn photo canvas photos, I'm going to hang on this wall. And just not too many, but maybe like three or four, um, just hang around. And this little hanger thing I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, and then I just hung it with some ribbon. And so I couldn't find a door hanger that I liked that didn't really stick out all that well. So I got some ribbon, put the ribbon over the door, got some tape. I don't know if you can tell and taped it up there. It's kind of ghetto, but hey, you don't really see it and nobody knows and it's cute and it ties together. And I hung some of my little favorite little onesies. These are actually some of the onesies that Casey bought him. All the ladies love a Texas dude. Heaven sent. I would flex, but I don't want to rip another tee and a cute little jacket. Which brings me to his closet. Still a work in progress. I still want to get a couple of these boxes. Um, for the bottom two shelves, but it's coming together. His little bumbo that I bought this cover off of Etsy. A little box of shoes. A, a box of blankets. These are some burp rags and another blanket. Bibs and some little toys in here. Just tons of bibs. These wash rags, let me tell you, there's 24 wash rags in here. Six bucks. 24 and Roger drinks are six bucks at Marshall's. A still of a deal. I love this. Um, there's sheets, blankets, receiving blankets, more sheets, just everything in here. And then I have all this clothes. There's this bobby pillow and have another cover for it too. All these clothes, and you can see in here I have the little tags up here. So all of them are in there, all separated out. My sister-in-law, and yes, he already does have a Halloween par costume, a little turtle that my nephew wore last year. This was my dress when I was a baby. I was hoping if I had a girl, I would wear, let her wear it home, but oh well, I have a boy. So, um, well, anyways, all these clothes, all of them, and all the pants I showed you earlier, my sister-in-law gave me all of them. Her baby is born in June or July, so he'll be two in July. And um, <clears throat> she kept them all, and she gave them all to us, which was a huge blessing. And then that's Casey's car seat for his car. This is my car seat for my car. There's our sit-and-stand stroller, which will be for Caleb and Casey when we have him. We do have a jogging stroller that we will use when Caleb's at his dad's house, so we don't have to carry around this huge stroller. Um, we have a oops, we have a pack and play back there in the corner. We have a Johnny jump up, which you hang from the door and let the kids just jump around. Hmm, let's see. I think that's really it. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite things. Obviously, my number one favorite that I loved from the very beginning, hated in the middle, and now I'm madly in love with again, is the polka dot wall. Seriously, I could have not had plan this better. I love all the yellow and the blues and the grays. It came together perfectly. Another one of my favorite things in his room is this lamp. I need to find out what I'm going to do with it, but I just love how it's, you can turn the light off and the lamp is still on. It's right there by the crib. It's not too close to the crib. It's, it's perfect. And the third thing, my favorite thing, this, because Let's face it, I'm gonna be sitting my cute butt there many, many nights, rocking this baby to sleep. So, um, that I need to clean it, but other than that, I love it so much. Um, Caleb loves the rug. We got this from Target. He loves to come in here and just sit on it. He, I'm not really sure why, but he just loves a rug, maybe because we don't really have any rugs anywhere else in the house. And he also loves this little sitting corner. So he can read, not that he knows how to eat but he starts getting in the fall, so um, he'll be able to read to his brother. And then some of Casey's favorite things. I think he really loves having his mask in here. And then um, just all the handiwork he did. I mean, he did this crib, 
and the desk. He did the dresser. He did the pegboard. Like just, I think knowing that he did all this for his son, like really, really just, he loves all that being able to do something for his child. So that is Dax's room. Um, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like everything. And um, as I get more stuff, or if you have any ideas of what, what we can do with the shelf or um, really anything in the room, if you have any ideas about the window treatment, I would love to hear them. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for all the sweet things that you've said and all the kind, encouraging words. It really means a lot to us. So thank you, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.